Hello space fans, Kuzumbi here. Welcome back to another episode of Rebel Galaxy Outlaw. Uh, hoping to get back to Elite soon. Uh, might pick up some mining. Seems to be what everybody's doing these days with fleet carriers on the way. In the meantime, uh, last time, uh, what did we do? Failed the mission. That was embarrassing. Um, oh, we're waiting for the uh, shipyard to open up here at... Oh, Bountiful Vista. Sorry, can't remember where it was. Uh, anyway, shipyard's done. We are here. Got the big old tank of uh, the Durston. Let's check out. I already checked it out. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's together check out the new ships here at Bountiful Vista. All right, head to the new ship dealer. Obviously, we're in the Durston now. We've got this... Sequoia, which is cool. A little upgrade to the Sonora. Looks a little faster. Oh, it explains it. Aftermarket refit of the Sonora. Replacing the turret mount with a cargo extension. Adding extra secondary mount. Maintain offensive capability. So, a little bit more cargo, which is cool. We got 12 versus 16. Max cargo rank 3. Power plant rank 3. Shield rank three. Well, that's kind of cool. All right, uh, Sandhawk, the garbage can. All right, so we're in the Durston now. Let's take a look at what else we've got. Ooh, the Beluga. Uh, substantial refit of the venerable Durston includes additional turret mount. Thanks, Cuckoo Clock. <laughs> Introduce an additional turret mount at the cost of some cargo room and a missile hardpoint. So, kind of cool. Um, so, yeah, three turrets, loss in cargo, loss in missile rack. So, I don't know. Let's see. Modified with additional launcher, reconfigured booster alignment, arrangement. Blood Eagle is a custom variant of the Sandhawk. I really want to try one of these at some point. Looks like a cool ship. Now, it's interesting. Most of these have been, yeah, they're relatively the same. Right, you've got Sonora, Sequoia. I mean, the, the, the fins are a little different. So you can see the forward wings a little different. Rear wings a little different. So it's just got more stuff bolted on it. Uh, obviously, the Beluga's fairly similar. They moved the cockpit to the top, which is kind of cool. Also kind of weird looking. It's like something sitting on the forehead of the 2-liter pop bottle. Um, the Blood Eagle, I obviously don't know it very well, but it looks like just a paint job. Looking at the detailing and everything, I don't see a whole lot that's different, but looks like a cool ship. Definitely want to try it at some point. All right, we've got the Coyote, which I flew briefly in the last episode. And the Dingo. Uh, this is the one I was most excited about. I think it was a result of consumer desire for craft with the speed and combat capability of the Coyote, but more everyday utility. It sacrifices some speed in exchange for additional cargo room. Um, looks like we've also got another missile slot. Well, it's, I guess it's more than hard points six, missile hard points two, four and four. So only four, four weapons, but then four, four missile hard points. That's huge. One slots two, hold size goes up to eight. And we go for two cargo rank two. So. A little bit, yeah, a little bit more useful. I'm thinking this is going to be the one, but let's take a look. I Part of me wants to try out this guy, but it's so tiny. It's, I guess it's more cargo space than the Coyote, isn't it? Max car rank zero, though. Another time, perhaps. I'm not, I'm not keen on the blue guy. I don't know that it'll replace the Durston for me. Loss in cargo, loss in missile rack for for one turret. It doesn't seem worth it. I wish it was a little 
Maybe a little faster. Would be kind of cool. Ah, uh, the Sequoia actually looks pretty decent. Over the Sonora, it's a decent upgrade. So it basically just gets rid of the turret for some cargo, which is okay. I used it a little bit, but it was okay. I'm thinking this is the way to go. All right, let's do it. Let's take this baby for a spin. Oh, we don't have to deal with the salesman. Huh? It just, it just works. All right, cool. I have to go through the sales pitch. Let's go to the equipment bay and check our loadout. All right, weapons wise, try an accelerator. So let's see where where are these at? Okay, I'm thinking. Four missile racks, jeez. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Kinda wish they had left that alone. Um, I don't quite know what I wanna do here. I kinda wanna do four, four try-ons. Give that a shot. How's our shot speed? Sure. 6.2. It's not great, but it'll do. Oh, missiles wise, though. I'm thinking let's double up on the swarm for sure. Now, I was running the EMP. Ooh, let's move. Oh wait, these are better. Increase capacity, that's right. Oh, nothing, no advantage there. Okay, so just extra ammo. I, I vaguely remember that. Okay, so I'm thinking, what if we did, yes, yeah, so we got swarm there. Let's do swarm here. Nope. Other way around. Let's do. Let's do another javelin. No. Okay. And then we'll do swarms. There we go. Jeez, that thing's mean looking. Holy cow. Oh, we should do all swarms. That would be awesome. Um, components, let's just check. Power plant four. Cargo hold. Can't do the three. We can do the two. That at least gives us more than ten. Okay. Everything else should be the same. Shield the jump drive, defense, no change there. Okay. Uh, let's just take a look. I'm curious. I just kind of want to take a tour of this thing. Paint. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take the time to actually paint it. Ooh, I like the kind of forward swept wings. Just one big thruster. Oh, it's. A bit different. It's cool. I like it. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, so did that. Uh, I kind of want to take on this this mission again. Um, my hope, uh, the mission I failed at last time was the prison break. Uh, which didn't go well. I, I think I antagonized the the police a little too much. Uh, but then again, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just as bad. Oh, my choice check every once in a while.
There we go. Alright. Where are we headed? I not have... Oops. Yep, I just shot one of those. What am I doing? Alright, we're headed to Montana. I wonder I couldn't see it. My cursor was on it. Alright. Let's head out. Ooh, it's nice. Let's try our boost speed. Nice. Should be a nice quick ship. We'll see how it holds up. Oh man, maybe the beluga will be good with the extra turrets. Go. It's too damn hot for me. I'm going to burn you down. Looks like that's safely in the hole. Come on. Whew. Chunk of steel, why not? Got cargo room. What are we at now? 18. Not too shabby. Oh, it turns nice. Engaged by distress signal. It's like right there. I don't want to help. Destination reached. Missile racks on this thing is, are crazy. I'll be using a lot of ordnance. It's gonna be expensive. I just realized how expensive it's going to be. Okay, maybe not with the EMPs, but... Autopilot disengaged by hostiles. Looks like we've got some uninvited company. <laughs> Craft entering the area. Nothing left but dust. by craft proximity hello down there destination reached come on someday this thing is just gonna shake itself apart craft entry area all right Are we ready for this We'll go external. There we go. Destination reached. All right, you see it up ahead? Once I give the signal, start raising a ruckus with those turrets. It's gonna get hot once they start scrambling units, but I've got some jacks waiting outside the belt who are gonna swoop in and help you with the heat. All right, be careful in there. Canterville, this is Unit 61A coming into dock. Canterville Control, you're cleared to land. 
I think that's an okay. We'll see. Okay, my goal this time. Not shooting at fuzz. So we're going to use EMPs and knock them out. Hopefully for a little bit. Juno, I'm in the bay. Hit it. Here we go. Ready? Let's see if we can survive. It was close last time. This is Cantoville Control. We are under attack from an unidentified craft. Scramble units and engage. Missile inbound. Ooh, shields. More to shields. Juno. It's like a kicked anthill in here. Uh, I found a computer terminal and I'm looking up the cell block. Just keep them busy. I'm trying. Not a lot of time to talk, though. Come on. This is an act of aggression against the Dodge Sector Police Force. It will be met with deadly force. Missile inbound. Missile evaded. Okay. Shit. This is not going well. It's like chaos. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, this is hard. Come on. Where is it? There it is. All units, attack my target. I had it. I heard it. Missile inbound. Missile evaded. Forward shields down. Systems heavily damaged. I know. Yep, that happened. Okay, A, I can't shoot those darn EMPs. Why did I disable two of them? Such a split and headache. Craft entering the area. Maybe I gotta go back to the Durston. I or that Destination Beluga just to handle the craft entering the area. Okay. All right, you see it up ahead? Once I give the signal, start raising a ruckus with those turrets. It's gonna get hot once they start scrambling units. But I've got some jacks waiting outside the belt who are gonna swoop in and help you with the heat. All right, be careful in there. Canterville, this is Unit 61A coming into dock. Canterville Control, you're cleared to land. All right, let's just start with the turrets, right? I did that last time. Maybe, maybe that's the problem. Right, they're bigger. Juno, I'm in the bay. Hit it. Here we go. Let's mix it up. 
This is Canterville Control. We are under attack from an unidentified craft. Scramble units and engage. You're done. Juno, it's like a kicked anthill in here. Uh, I found a computer terminal and I'm looking up the cell block. Just keep them busy. I'm trying. Not a lot of time to talk, though. Let's see how you like the taste of this, buddy. I gotta start blocking those more. You've made a serious mistake, citizen. How do I hit something? How did I not hit you? You're done. Missile inbound. Missile evaded. Oh, how is he not stunned? Just too big? I just gotta get close. doing good okay just pause on the map all right somebody give me a tactic for this because this is not working doesn't help anything.
All units, attack my target. I got the cell ID. Hang tight. Inbound. Interesting. I wonder if it's based on how many kills you have. Shove that up your tailpipe. Hostile craft inbound. Comes. Okay, I think the two, the four trions is, it's neat, but it's too much power. Okay. I think that's the last of them. Repair drone would be smart. I thought I had one. Maybe two? Can I just hang out here for a little while? I get the feeling the mission's not going to continue without me. <sighs> Nothing's on fire on the inside. It's good. Alright, next time, just shoot to kill. Expecting a Corvette next, let's... We got these turrets, huh? Did I shoot at the station? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's get away from the station. Coming. All right. Find the override panel. I'm gonna have to blast it. Hostile craft entering the area. Get away. <laughs> we are so damaged. This is an act of aggression against the Dodge Sector Police Force. It will be met oh, with deadly force. Juno. I've got Ansel. We're heading back to the bay now. It's kind of hairy out here, so make it fast. This is not gonna go your way. All units, attack my target. We're out of the bay. Ansel is safely aboard. Catterville Control. We have an escaped prisoner in Block 7G. All units engage any unregistered craft in the vicinity. Oh, please tell me I don't have to go protect her. <laughs> Juno, Ansel here. Marla says I owe you a thank you. Hopefully, I can give it to you in person sometime soon. 
Once Jurgen's out of the picture, that'll be thank you enough. See you on the other side, Ansel. Oh, I go. You better get out of here, Juno. I'll see you back at the den when I've got Ansel safely somewhere out of the way. Flee the area. You guys suck. Just random spot. Middle of nowhere. Let's go. Not that way. <laughs> Let's go this way. Run, baby. Objective complete. Autopilot disengaged by distress signal. No, <laughs> I don't think so. Oh. oh. Let's see. Where are we going? Let's probably leave the system. What do you guys think? Seems smart. Yeah. We did all right. The MPs were useless. Ah, oh, jeez. Now is not the time. I know you must be getting weary of my little flashes of inspiration, but I think this one really will be a value add. Oh yeah? Do I need to drop by to discuss this one too? Actually, I think we can sort this out right now. It'd be nice to really outfit our bar with the amenities other watering holes enjoy. I think getting some friendly dice poker competition passing through would add a little spice to the place. Maybe. Here's the thing. If you can get the attention of a few good players, we can probably convince them to swing by the Vista for competition. I've been reading up on the sector's best dice hounds, and I'm sending their locations to you. Oh if boy. If you beat them all, I think we could set up a table on the Vista and have a real chance of keeping butts in the chairs. I'll see what I can do, time permitting. Yeah, I have my shipyard. I, I really don't care at this point. <laughs> Shipyard and equipment was my main goal. Missions helps, but we'll see about dice. Ugh, I hate these jumps. Okay, let's go deal with really expensive repairs. All right, well, that one only took three tries. Lesson learned. Just shoot. Trying to be too nice. I'm ten eight to my next shoot and run, I guess, is the tactic. Craft entering the area. See, it looks like things are getting it says EMP javelin repaired. It's interesting. It's a good looking ship though, I like it. I like it. Oh boy. Let's see how bad this is gonna be. I gotta watch it. This is hell on my account. Not bad. Eight grand. Alright. Well, we didn't do much, but it was kinda nice picking up a new ship. I think a paint job's in order. Not that the red stripe is bad. Oh, um Let's see. Equipment Bay. I like the Trine Blasters. They do a lot of damage, but man, do they suck up the power. Equipment Bay. Um, I'm kind of thinking of switching for the Auto Cannon. It'll give us a lot more shooting capability, energy-wise. Something munition based, balance out the power. Alright, and then these suck. Or I suck at these. Let's do the two. Here we go. Missile boat, for sure. Um, yeah, I might play around with some of the other ships. Give, uh, I don't know, maybe the Beluga with the three turrets. So it's it's tempting, but I don't know. 
doesn't seem quite as valuable as hard points up front. But anyway, as always, thank you all so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell. Yeah. Like I said, hoping to get back to Elite soon. We've got a September release coming up. I was trying to wait till then. Um, I hate to jump on the the mining hype train at the moment. Well, I know a lot of folks are earning cash and getting ready for fleet carriers. Part of me wants to wait and see what happens. Um, just as far as cost and details go. Um, and then, then kind of work towards fleet carrier. So that's okay if it takes me a little while. Um, yeah, so probably more Rebel Galaxy Ella coming next, but Elite Dangerous on the distant horizon as soon as we start to hear rumors about release date. I think, I would assume it's mid-September, so we're, we're almost there. Um, again, not a whole lot going on there, just the live rechanges and uh, training missions, but might be a good time to come back. Hopefully I can cruise some more through more of uh, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw, but anyway, that was like the longest out outro rambling ever. I'll stop now. I'll catch you guys next time.